Daisy Ridley in a Die Hard movie? Well, sort of. It's called The Cleaner. Daisy Ridley to lead action thriller. Okay, so what's it? Why is it? Why am I calling it a Die Hard thing? Let me read you the synopsis. Cleaner is a nail-biting thriller, unique and original. And original? <laughs> How's that original? Uh, basically, uh, much of the film takes place. Uh, on the side of the shard, hundreds of feet up in the air. And uh, yeah, so um, basically she's a window cleaner and a bunch of terrorists take over the tower and she's got to fight the terrorists because she has a military background. Um, very Nakatomi, <laughs> very diehard with Daisy Ridley. So that's why I called it Die Hard. The Cleaner. Um, yeah, what do you expect in The Cleaner? From Martin Campbell. Uh, really is set to portray Joey Locke, a former soldier turned window cleaner who has found herself in the middle of a terrorist attack. The project is, who said we were terrorists? <laughs> hey, I would play the terrorist. Come on, come on. Uh, I should submit an audition tape. Uh, the project is produced by some people who cares about that. Uh, set in the present-day London, the film will see the radical activists take over the energy company's annual gala at the Shard, the tallest skyscraper in Western Europe, seizing 300 hostages in order to expose the corruption of the hosts. Um, okay, so maybe they are a little bit of a terrorist. They're just, uh, I just like the, <laughs> the what do they say here? Uh, unique and original in both its characters and setting. Okay, well, it, it, original in its characters. You know, for the longest time, after Die Hard, we had a whole bunch of scripts that came out where it kind of like, um, well, it's Die Hard in a hockey arena with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's, it's Die Hard on a boat, uh, on a Navy boat with uh, Steven Seagal. We, we had those because the, the, the studio gets a good idea and they flood scripts with the same kind of ideas and then eventually some of those scripts get put away and then get resurfaced and repurposed as a Die Hard movie which happened to like Die Hard 3 I think it happened with the last Die Hard over in Russia so this reeks of that kind of uh, approach right a cleaner with Die Hard uh, but with Daisy Riddler Daisy Ridley um, I, I actually oddly enough have nothing against this uh, premise. I got no arguments. Because um, I do like the Die Hard scenario. And I'd watch it with Daisy Ridley trying to take it out. Trying to smart, outsmart these people. Um, I look at her IMDB, however. And I'm not seeing it listed. Uh, she had that small role in the bubble. Ugh. Thank you for reminding me about that travesty. Uh, she also has something... Uh, oh, this year that was at the uh, film festival circuit. Sometimes I think about dying, but uh, we see that she's got a couple of things in post production: Young Women and the Sea, Magpie, uh, Women in the Castle. I don't know what that, that that's in pre production. And then of course, then she's got the Star Wars movie, New Jedi Order, that's in development. Here it's being listed as 2027. That's not confirmed, by the way. So uh, IMDb. That's not confirmed, because some people think that, that that one's going to be the 2025 film. And then she's got something called uh, The Inventor. Post-production was just a voice, so maybe that's an animated film for 2023. And then she's got The Marsh King's Daughter, which is completed for 2023, but I'm not seeing the cleaner on there, but it obviously is happening, because they got the director, they got the script, they got... The lead actress in Daisy Ridley for The Cleaner, or Cleaner. Um, what do you guys think about this? Uh, yeah. I check it out. I, I am a Daisy Ridley fan, despite what you heard about my opinions of the sequel trilogy. I still believe in her as an actress. I'm curious to see her works. So, uh, Cleaner, Die Hard. Daisy Ridley, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. Wow, we are running really late today. So what if we run over time, James? Whatever. Uh, let's